Hi there, nice to see you. Uh, today I'm going to help you by <coughs> writing a Mila note in a simple way. Actually, as I know, for majority of my colleagues, writing Mila note is terrible because we need to write verbal feedback about each student's activity during the classroom uh, it is verbal feedback and you need to follow observe a student and follow um, his or her activity for making a good review a good verbal feedback uh, feedback about students daily and weekly activity so the problem is that we are busy during the classroom it is not always easy to take effective note during the class time but I found a way to make something easier here I'm going to share something strange something interesting uh, with you this is a table in this table you will see the name of the student of each student actually name and surname and also you see dates here and you know it's November and you see some interesting codes actually they are not mark they are exactly code when you come down under the table you see that each code has its own explanation it means that instead of writing does not take note during the class I just write two in the same way Instead of writing, uh, for example, absent from the class, I just write A. Yes, it's like old school method, but we have a new edition for this old style method. So here also I have ChatGPT, my great helper. ChatGPT is able to convert this codes which I take during daily and weekly class activities for example here you can see one two weeks I think more than two yes three weeks here three weeks activity for each student and I'm, uh, I'm going to decode this information you know this information is in a code coding form and I'm going to write verbal feedback about each student you can ask me why we need converting and why we need conversion because writing code is easy and it doesn't take a lot of time doesn't disturb even the class but Milanote needs verbal feedback so we need to convert uh, coding feedback to the verbal one and vice versa we do this in the classroom vice versa like we uh, write no codes instead of writing whole sentence but for writing Milan note we convert we should convert it back so let's back to chat GPT and I have here a good instruction for my chat GPT what I'm going to do here um, here and for confusion it's not here so I'm going to write my uh, ChatGPT account that I need to write my feedback about each of my students uh, about each of my students one by one I have a special coding system to track my students activity in each class I will provide a list of codes and their explanation bearing this in mind please uh, wait for students name and his or f uh, her weekly code by using this data, give me verbal feedback about the student's weekly activity. Here's the code list and explanation. Here you see the code list and explanation here. And also, please do not use uh, coding in your feedback, even in the brackets. And, use, uh, and also, give your feedback in a professional manner. I'm going to copy this all of this information and come to ChatGPT and first say hello hi because when you say hi when you interact with ChatGPT it serves you better actually I like it hi 
how are you doing how are you doing okay hi how are you doing hi how are you doing i'm here i'm ready to assist you and now press your code here and take get the instruction Korean um, certain limits to value on EFCs. Please provide me with your first student's name and weekly code. And coming to the table, I'm going to take student's name. I'm going to choose a student that has lots of code. For example, Ali, Alaskar, lots of codes here. Let's say Control A, Control C, copy the student name here. Let's say student should be like that and weekly it should be mostly actually but let's say weekly weekly codes uh-huh come back to the excel we have what we have zero one two not three zero one two not three four five zero one two four five yes let's say zero one two four and five we have um it's important to add not so miller not weekly because every week you take some codes again and again you know for example back to the table let me show you what i mean for example here uh, rasim took three two times this is the first week, look, and this is the second week, and this is the third week. If you give all of this information all together, ChatGPT cannot distinguish between, uh, cannot distinguish first week and, um, you know, third week. But when you do this weekly, you know, when you write your Milo note each week, so ChatGPT is able to detect all the information, all the student activity, and is able to give you a good feedback. Okay, so I gave my student name and also weekly codes and press enter. So thank you. Ali Alesker, ah, okay. So you see here code numbers. And I'm going to repeat again. Please, please, never, never mention code numbers in your feedback feedback even in bracket brackets brackets i made a mistake i know brackets and so it doesn't does not seen professionally pro -fishy. Oh, no, Lee. let's see. Doesn't seem professional. So, uh huh. Understood. So, I'll give you feedback. Uh huh. Can you make this in a in one paragraph? Paragraph, please. Please, can you make it in one paragraph, please? Okay. Uh huh. Uh, do not mention mention my name in the paragraph. <laughs> you have to teach everything. Certainly. Uh huh. Perfect. So it's uh, it's good. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's perfect. Do all the rest in the same way. Understood. Uh, let's say. Uh, stood. Understood. Okay, let's check what uh, he did for us. Ali Asker displaced a mixed behavior in this week 
so give all the information you can read here i'm not going to take your i'm not going to um, i'm not going to take your time but you can read all of them it's just a verbal feedback about students behavior on students behavior so coming to my excel i'm going to give another student for example interesting student here um ali alaska we have kamal for example c let's say another student let's say student and weekly code weekly codes and uh, so we have weekly codes here where is weekly code mm, here uh, zero uh, two and c okay i really interested uh, what ChatGPT is going to do with c zero two and c let's go aha uh -huh. perfect that's all i need to just give a student name and weekly codes ChatGPT is going to give me full feedback about students behavior actually what you need to do more just copy this feedback come to the Mila note and paste it to a current week actually it's not automatic feedback giving i think because uh, each feedback based on my data who took this data who collected this data during the week me teacher uh, actually chat gpt is just for converting these codes to a verbal way because the important thing that it takes a long time it takes a really long time so that's all i think this is helpful to all of us um i hope you will save your time by helping this method so if you have any question feel free for writing comment below so see you in the next video bye